What exactly is the meaning of culinary training? At culinary school, I imagine they learn how to bake things. Learn recipes. I think there's science involved. Business stuff. Food trends. They hook up. So how did this all begin? The idea of culinary education is fairly new to the U.S. compared to Europe. In the 1870s, the Women's Educational Association of Boston created the Boston Cooking School, which was the first school in the U.S. with the express purpose of culinary education. It was created to give women the cooking skills to use in and outside of their homes. Then, in 1911, the government started promoting a system that was based off of the European culinary system, where the apprentices had to complete a 6,000-hour work commitment to be a certified chef. Today in the U.S., there are about 500 culinary schools, heavily located around California and Florida. This is a chart that shows you how much a culinary education costs. Yeah, culinary schools are very expensive. Even with student loans, grants, and scholarships, it's about double the amount of a public university. So this is where it gets controversial. How much money would students make once graduating and working in a real job? A hundred thousand. Eighty to ninety thousand dollars a year. Eighty plus a year. <laughs> well, I knew an executive chef who I, I think he made around sixty thousand a year. Yes, an executive chef makes sixty thousand dollars per year on average. What? That's nothing. Even with professional culinary training, it's not very much. To be exact, it's only about 2 to 11% more than if they'd only graduated high school. But enrollment numbers to culinary institutions have been steadily increasing. According to Time magazine, there has been a 20% leap in the for-profit culinary school enrollment numbers each year since 2009. Even though most jobs in the food industry require no college degree whatsoever, students are paying as much as $56,000 to attend a culinary institution. And still, with the booming growth in the culinary scene, the national medium wage of chefs is still very low. So what is the worth of a culinary training if the statistics prospective students see regarding their futures are so brutally unfortunate? We asked real culinary students to find out. Uh, okay. Yes. I don't think it's like specific for culinary industry. People always ask me, why are you going to go pay all this money to just go do something where you're gonna get paid, if you're lucky, like 17 or 18 bucks an hour. You don't go into your job blind. I know stuff about cooking and I know a lot, but I didn't know that much. I realized that quickly coming here. Yeah, before it came to CIA, I didn't know that I was gonna have a financial problem, but like, now I get it, yes. I participated in a competition, so I got the first place. So I have a full ride for four years. Me. Um, my father is my sponsor. <laughs> I really feel sorry to my parents. <laughs> my parents pay for the tuition. To make food, you need a lot of people in the kitchen. You cannot do it by yourself. If you can do it by yourself, you can get paid a lot more, but it's physically not possible. When people think of a chef, they think of people on the food network. They're making a dish very calmly. Meanwhile, it's so much more than that. The job itself is underrated. I don't know, maybe they're just okay with it and they just never said anything. Yes. I'm kind of wishy-washy. I truly think a lot of the things I'm learning here, I can't learn from just reading recipes or looking at YouTube videos. If they're kind of okay to pay the tuition by themselves, I strongly recommend to go to culinary school. In terms of a person that wants to just be a cook, they can honestly learn that stuff in a restaurant. No, no. I think it is worth it. Quality or the technique of the skills, it will not go further than like what you are capable of. Am I just shitting on culinary school? I think it's great. Among birds, geese livers are uniquely capable of storing fat, a quirk that allows for their long haul migratory flights. Without this quirk, the ancient Egyptians wouldn't have started force feeding them. An ancient Egyptian named Tai wouldn't have decorated his burial tomb with elaborate visual instructions for gavage. 